Greeting, our Hebrew Israelite sisters and brothers. This is L.D. Smith, the watchman on the wall. Israel, it is our Sabbath. Grab that King James. First and foremost, we want to wish all of our sisters and brothers all over happy Sabbath. That being said, we strive to show Lucifer, a.k.a. Jesus, as a liar and a deceiver. And we do it every Friday, and we're going to do it all again to, tonight. All right, my sisters and brothers? This is their Easter. Uh, and, uh, uh, and we want to uh, uh, jokingly say to all the Christians, Happy Easter. All right. But that being said, let us go into our, our teaching, my sister and brother. L let us go to the book of Psalms uh, uh, 111. Psalms 111. And we're going to be reading verses uh, uh, 7, uh, 8, and 9. And we're dealing with a uh, Jesus died on, on, on so-called Calvary's cross uh, that uh, uh, he might redeem the world back to God. As he said over there in the book of Ephesians or uh, 1 and 7, it says that we have redemption through through his blood. But uh, I, I am here to prove that he is a liar and a deceiver and that the Christians have no hope. And Israel is the only one that will be redeemed. God himself. Cannot lie. All right. Now let's look at Psalms uh, 111 verses 7, 8, 9. Now, my sisters and brothers, uh, 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 listen to what you're reading. All right. Look what it says. It says, The work of his hands are verity and mean, meaning true and judgments. All his commandments are sure. All right. They stand fast forever. All right. And ever. And are done in truth and of righteousness. Now watch the right there, my sister and brother. He said, he sent. Huh? He sent. See, when God has said that he has sent his redemption, he, he ain't got sin no more. Well, what do we need with Jesus, my sister and brother? Israel. What do we need with anybody else? God here saying that he have already sent. It's already on the way. It's already done. So, if he have sent it, why do we need another? We don't need another. He say, uh, he have sent redemption unto his people. We don't need Jesus Israel. We do not need Jesus, my sisters and brothers. It's right here in the pages. My sisters and brothers, I mean, when you get news like this, we can shout about it. See what I'm saying? We are so sure about our salvation until we can just shout, dance, run around. Oh, we can have a good time. Look what he says. You know? He says he sent his redemption unto his people, not the world. And then he goes, he says, he has commanded his covenant forever. It ain't going to change. It ain't going to change. It's not going to change. His covenant between us and him is not going to change. And guess what? The world is not invited. He goes on. Look what he says here. A holy and reverence is his name. Now, let us look at another scripture here, my sisters and brothers. Let's go to Psalms 130. Let's go to Psalms 130, my sisters and brothers. Very important here. I mean, this is a good teaching here tonight. I tell you, Psalms 130. Let's look at verses 7 and 8. All right. Look what, well, let's read 6 2. It says, My soul waiteth for the Lord more than they that watch for the morning. I say, My, I say more than they that watch for the morning. And let Israel, look what it says, hope in the Lord, for with the Lord there is mercy, and with him is plenteous of redemption. See that? See that? We don't need nobody else. We don't need nobody else. God says, I got enough for all y'all. I got enough for all y'all. Look what verse 8 says, my sister and brother. Oh, I tell you, my sister and brother, this is, this is, this here is good right here. He says, and he shall redeem Israel from all of his iniquity. See, my sister and brother, we don't need nobody else. There is nobody else for us. See, the Christian, they can keep Jesus. We don't need him. But Israel, we got it all. We don't need nobody else. Look what he says. He says, and he shall redeem Israel from not some, but all of his iniquity. My sister and brother, we can, we can shout about that. Oh, I tell you, my sister and brothers. This here is good or then good. I mean, this is this is good as it gets. All right, let let's do another one here because the Christians is, is hoping and Jesus dying and getting up and they're hoping is in vain. But I tell you, 
We as the true people, we got a true God that is worthy to be praised and that will not uh, lie to his people. Now let's look at Psalm 49. This is the killer right here. This is the 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 the, the last nail that we're gonna put in Jesus' coffin for his Easter. Alright, look here, Psalm 49, verses 7. Well, let's read 6, 7, and 8, all right? Look what it says here. Uh, they that trust in their wealth and boast themselves in the multitude of their riches. He said, none of them, huh? None of them by any means, huh? Any means, any means redeem his brother. Not give to God a ransom for him. Now, remember what Jesus said. Ye have been bought, huh, with a price? Huh? Not with silver or gold, but by the precious blood of the Lamb. <laughs> bullshit. He ain't he nothing but a damn lie. I mean, the whole New Testament is nothing but a bunch of bullshit. Look what God says here. He says, For none of them can by any means re uh, redeem his brother. Now, Jesus said that over in Hebrews, uh, the, 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 the seventh chapter, verse 14, he said that uh, it is a. Uh, uh, I, I, let me see that quote. He, he said, "It is evident that our Lord and Savior sprung by the tribe of Judah, meaning that He's our brother." Look, look what y'all says here. Look what the Holy One of Israel says here. He says, "For none of them can, by any means, redeem his brother, not give to God a ransom for him." Isn't that wonderful, my sisters and brothers? Isn't that wonderful? You can tell a Christian that that bullshit about Jesus uh, bought them uh, uh, not with silver and gold, but by the precious blood of the Lamb. Uh, that uh, uh, he bought them and that number but a bunch of bullshit. Look what he says in verse eight. He says, "For the redemption of their souls is precious, and it ceases forever." See that? It it ceases uh, uh, forever. God is saying that. This ain't gonna change here. My sisters and brothers, I want to wish you a happy Sabbath and enjoy your Sabbath. Until next time, Shalom.